Here's an important election message from OPSI Executive Director Joe Regola. Difficult as it is to believe nearly a year has passed since Ohioans delivered a crushing blow to John Kasich and his friends who were attacking our members' jobs, wages, and benefits. Senate Bill 5 was just one part of a continuing assault on working families that continues to this day all over the country. Pension benefits for current and future retirees are being cut, and union contracts are being trashed, all in the name of making the super rich in America even richer. Now another election is in front of us, and the choices are the same as those we made last fall. Will Ohio and America continue to shower tax breaks and special advantages on the already obscenely rich? Will we stand for the attacks on Social Security and Medicare? Or will we at long last regain our senses and provide job security, honest wages, and decent retirement benefits for those who do the work that adds real value to our country? This fall, before you decide how to vote, Take a look at the candidates who stood with us, not just on Senate Bill 5, but on all the issues that determine what kind of life our members will live, secure retirement, good health care, and a fair wage for honest work. People like Senator Sherrod Brown, who has been a tireless voice for school employees and all OPSI members for his entire life. People like Ohio Supreme Court Justice Yvette McGee Brown, who came from a working class family and never forgot her roots and her values and the many others who share our core belief that John Kasich and his Wall Street friends have grabbed enough from working families in recent years. Watch for the pre-election issue of the OPSI News. Click on the My OPSI button on this page and look in the mail for the information our national union asks me. We'll be sending this fall to get our recommendations for your vote for pro-OPSI, pro-family candidates. November 2011 showed both the power of our vote and the dangers we face if our vote puts the wrong people in office. Let us all vote for candidates who understand the life of a food service worker, a developmentally disabled bus driver, a Head Start staff member, and a library employee. Let us all vote for a secure job, a fair wage, and a decent retirement. God bless you all.